Hello basketball coaches, my name is Alan from Al's Basketball Training and a few years ago I created a book called The Unbeatable Basketball Defense. Now this is a defensive strategy that essentially has your players trapping the ball or double teaming the ball anywhere from the free throw line and below. Anything from the free throw line and above is single coverage so that basically there's no points happening from the free throw line extended and below. Now this is a very good defense, many coaches have used it, even uh, I have a video on this channel from the Milwaukee Bucks using it once uh, near the end of the game in the playoffs, so it is a very good defense, and I actually uh, was talking to a few people who I have contacts through the NBA, and actually it was my book, which is kind of interesting because I never thought it made it to that level ever. But today I'm going to give you some full court presses that you can use if you were to use this defense and from there be able to sink back into the defense without being very confused. So if you don't already know, if you haven't purchased the book yet, go ahead and purchase the book. The link is in the description below. But basically there's one player up top and four players below the free throw line. Now, let's get down to the clipboard and I'll show you how some of these full court presses are able to sink down into this defense. So basically the defense looks like this. You're going to have two post players at the second hash mark. You're going to have these players out inside though of the three point line and you're going to have player one he's going to come down and he's going to be defending the point now i'm not going to be giving away how this defense works obviously uh, i put a lot of time effort and money into creating this book again link is in the description below however basically player one his defensive zone is up top and then these four players their defensive zone is underneath the free throw line Again, not giving away the defense. It is a very, very good defense and how the rotations work with these four players. Now, going from there, we're going to go into some different full court presses that work extremely well with this defense. The first zone press is going to be the 1-2-2. Two, two. Now, from there, we're going to have player 1. He is going to be forcing the ball left or right towards the sidelines. And then from there, let's just say player 5 has it. Player 5 is now a point guard. Every, every center's dream, right? And so he's going to have the ball. And player 1 is going to try and force him to one side or the other. Let's say right now he's forcing him to that side. Player 2 is going to be covering the middle. Player 3 is going to be the one now taking over and directing player 5 over towards that sideline. Because basically every, every zone press wants to trap players right there. Because then they can't go back over half. They obviously can't go out of bounds. And then if you have two players trapping you in that zone, you're stuck. There's not much you can do. So, the idea behind this one is for player 5 and 4 to sink back into those blocks. And then because these two players are going to be the last ones back, they're going to be sinking back towards those outside wings. And player one is going to obviously sink back to the point. Now, the second full court zone press that works really well with this defense is the diamond 1-2-1-1. The reason is, is because player five just has to sink back there. Player four needs to sink back there. And then three and two sink back towards the wings and player one has the point. Now, from there... A, there's a, some coaches who I've seen who like to run a 1-3-1. One, one. Now, I, I've seen that, and personally, I've seen a lot of players get confused as to where they, they should be going. I've seen player 4 wanting to go to the wing, things like that. So that's why I'm making this video. So basically, the diamond works extremely well. How the diamond works, though, is again, player one starts by directing the ball handler left or right. Player two or three, depending on the side that he goes, starts picking up that player, directing him towards the sideline. Meanwhile, player one would then be there to cut off any of the reverse spins and reverse directions so that they can continue to force that player over towards that side. Player 4 sinks down, player 3 comes across to cut off any reverse passes. So both of these zone defense presses work extremely well 
with the unbeatable zone defense that I created. And a quick backstory to that defense. Basically, we were here in Hamilton. I was coaching a Burlington team at the time and thought, wow, we are getting absolutely destroyed in the low post. So I drew up something really quickly that used to work for me at the very young level at the YMCA with like the seven and eight year olds when we were getting destroyed. And I thought, well, if we were just to spread out that defense, it could work really well. So I drew something up really quickly at halftime, showed it to my team. We were down by 28 against the Wildcats. The, that team doesn't exist anymore. And that's the team I used to play for. But um, basically drew something up really quickly and we were down by a ton. And we ended up still losing that game. However, we were only, only lost by two. So we came back because of that defense, we were stopping a lot of the attacks, especially in that low post. So, if you seem to be getting attacked and destroyed in the low post or anything below the free throw line extended, this defense is specifically for you. And if you want, you can go grab it in the description below. I know you're going to love it. I've had a lot of coaches use it and absolutely love it. I've had coaches over in Europe use it. I've had coaches in the States and in Canada use it. And the reason why it cost money to create is because obviously I just I didn't just create it with my own team. I created it through a lot of different teams. So I used it in Burlington. I've used it in Oakville. I've also used it with teams that are throughout all of Canada and a couple of teams in the States. I asked coaches to try it and to learn it. I talked to them over Skype on how they can implement it and take what they found, how what works and what doesn't work, and we put it all together that way. So I hope that you get to check out that book. The link again is in the description below, and I'll see you guys again later on today for the second video of the day.